Hello, my name is Dwight Stoll, and I'm a professor of chemistry here at Gustavus Adolphus College in St. Peter, Minnesota. I'm an analytical chemist by training, and I specialize in a technique called liquid chromatography. I'm a 2014 recipient of a Henry Dreyfus Teacher Scholar Award. In the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you some of our research supported by this award, which is focused on fundamental studies in two-dimensional liquid chromatography, informing the next era in the development and application of liquid chromatography. Liquid chromatography is a technique that physically separates compounds so that they can be accurately characterized and quantified. A classic example is the separation of plant pigments, an experiment that my son did just a few months ago as is shown here. As the different pigment molecules travel through the separation column at different rates, they can be collected separately for further characterization. Modern liquid chromatography is done with high pressure pumps, and this enables us to separate more compounds at one time. But the separating ability of a single column is limited, as is illustrated by this separation of the components of a complex plant extract. We only see about 70 peaks in this chromatogram, even though we know there are thousands of types of molecules present in the mixture. This is why we are interested in separating in two dimensions. In principle, 2D separations offer more separation capacity because we have a 2D array of separation space available rather than a simple 1D array. 2D liquid chromatography is not a new idea. It was introduced in the late 1970s, but was limited for decades by available instrumentation. New technologies introduced in the past 10 years, like this equipment in my laboratory, have fundamentally changed the ways we think about and practice 2D liquid chromatography. Further development will depend on a deeper fundamental understanding of the technique. This slide shows a simple schematic of the components of the instrument shown in the previous image. As molecules leave the first dimension column, then they are transferred to the second dimension column for further separation. Increasingly, we are finding that the second dimension of separation in 2DLC is a strange place. We encounter conditions here that are not encountered in conventional 1D chromatography. Recently, we have discovered that turbulent flow can develop in the second dimension of the instrument, which can lead to much higher than expected operating pressures. This slide shows that pressures predicted for second dimension using conventional models do not accurately describe what we see in experiments. Through careful study of these phenomena, we have been able to develop a model that is much more accurate and allows us to make predictions which we are sharing with the community through the development of web-based tools like the one shown here. It is this kind of fundamental understanding that will enable us to unlock the full potential of 2D liquid chromatography to help scientists in fields ranging from biology to environmental engineering solve humanity's most pressing problems. For updates on our work, please visit my website, and thank you for watching.